Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. My wife had to work late tonight, so my date night consisted with my other love, movies. And tonight I watched The Founder, uh, starring Michael Keaton and Nick Offerman, uh, uh, directed by uh, John Lee Hancock. And uh, it's the story about Ray Kroc, the self-proclaimed owner and CEO of McDonald's and how he came across the idea, how he took the idea and how he made the idea of McDonald's his own. Um, all in all, it was a pretty decent movie. What I really enjoyed was I thought that, um, I know I might get a little pushback on this, but I thought it was Michael Keaton's best role. I thought that he did uh, a great job. I mean, I know that he's taken on uh, more serious roles as of late with, uh, you know, Birdman and um, uh, the story about uh, when he worked for the Boston paper. I can't think of the name of it right offhand. But, uh, but yeah, he did a really wonderful job in this, in this, uh, this movie and it, it showed. He did, he did great. Um, and the chemistry between him and the, the two brothers uh, with Nick Offerman, I can't remember the other actor's name that played with him, but um, that was it was great, great chemistry with those three on on screen. You love to see the conversation and see that relationship develop and deteriorate as the movie went along. Uh, the one thing that stood out to me um, was the editing. The editing of this film was absolutely spectacular. It was just. You know, when you, when you, from the beginning to the end, the way they dealt with conflict, dealt with conversations, and switched, um, whoever the editor was, oh, boy, hats off to them. They did a wonderful job in piecing this movie together. Um, and you know, a little bit of the production design at the beginning, but I felt it kind of waned towards the, towards the end of the movie. And I think they, they kept up the age of what was going on. I felt like it was still all the same decade um, and it, it spanned two decades. So uh, that was a takeaway. Um, the story was a solid story, but I don't think that it quite filled the time frame. I felt like the, there was some slow parts. Um, you know, I knew there was a crucial part where he had to meet his wife Joan, and but that was slow. It just it, there were parts where it dragged, and you just wanted to pick up the pace and see what was going to happen. And uh, you know, you basically knew the story from the trailer, um, but yeah. So I felt that that was uh, you know a little on the the story, and it just didn't have enough. I think enough juice for a full movie. Um, Michael Keaton did show the good transformation of Ray uh, from beginning to end, but for the most part, yeah, like other than, than Ray and the brothers, it was, uh, you know, everything else was, eh, okay, whatever. But the one thing that you, that stuck out to me, the one scene that I really thoroughly enjoyed and I thought was a prime piece of the movie was the story, uh, the story of how the McDonald brothers came to to build their restaurant and their system. I thought that that was really the highlight, and that was in the first act of the movie. So, you know, that's where kind of stretched after that. I mean, there were good parts, there were solid parts, solid acting, no drop off in that. It's just like I said, I just don't think there was enough story. So. Um, that's my take. Uh, if you saw the movie, uh, what did you think? Um, that's that's the conversation I want to have. I mean, I thought it was okay. Not maybe not an Oscar-worthy movie. Michael Keaton was definitely Oscar-worthy. He did a wonderful job. Um, and you know, maybe not the movie theaters, the place to see this. You could probably wait for this to be a rental, um, or whatever, or Netflix or whatever. But all in all. That's my take on the founder. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these ride home reviews. I enjoy doing them. I enjoy going to see movies and I enjoy talking about them. So let me know what you think. 
I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I'll see you next week which will I will be talking about the the Batman the Lego Batman movie. So see you next week.